بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم ایوری ون تھینک یو فار کمنگ بیک ٹو کارپریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر کنٹینیوئنگ ود آر اسپری آف ڈفرینٹ ایکسرسائز اینڈ ایکٹیویٹیز دس ماڈیول از ویری ڈفرینٹ فرام آر پریویس ماڈیولس بیکاز دس از بین ویری انٹریکٹیو اینڈ ہیز بیسکلی انسٹلڈ یور پارٹیسپیشن ان دس پرٹیکولر ماڈیول سو ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو ڈو انادر ایکسرسائز ویچ از اے ویری امپارٹنٹ ایکسرسائز اینڈ اٹس کالڈ انٹروسپیکشن اینڈ لیڈرشپ سو لیڈیز اینڈ جنرمن دس از اے ویری سیم فیمس سینگ دیٹ If you want to understand God, then you have to understand yourself. So if you want to understand the universe, you have to understand yourself. And therefore, an individual is an extremely important uh, element within this universe. And the best way to uh, basically enhance one's leadership skills and also enhance one's influence is through introspection and looking at the different dimensions and the different indulations and undulations of an individual. Now, when we uh, look at this particular exercise, to understand leadership, it is very important to understand self, to introspection. Ethical leadership emerges from experiences of life which have an internal bearing on the individual. It is necessary that the leadership of the future develops a better understanding of themselves through introspection and cost fertilization of ideas. So, the future leadership, the young youth, uh, which basically means you, you all have access to technology. Uh, the world is now in your palm, through your phone. You have access to everything. Uh, you can do business. You can live your life from one room based upon technology. The dynamics have changed. The paradigms have changed. The models have changed. Uh, the matrixes have changed. The networks have changed. And therefore, it is very important that one tends to understand self and then apply uh, his or her own perceptions to the circumstances and situation around them. Now, in this particular exercise, what I would like you to do is that, first of all, uh, write down what is your vision of life. Now, when we're talking about vision, then we talk about vision in three different perspectives. Academically, how you see yourself in the next 10 years. Uh, professionally, how do you see yourself? And based upon your family, how do you see yourself? So, three different perspectives. And where do you see yourself in the next 10 years and why? So, again, uh, today you are a student from 10 years from now. what are you going to be doing, how you are going to be doing, why you are going to be doing. Now, you are going to complement this whole vision exercise with the 10 top most important values in your life. Uh, for example, uh, I would say that my uh, top most value is, is integrity, is honesty, is truth, uh, is hardworking, uh, is uh, basically excellence, is empathy, uh, is giving. So, again, everyone can have their own values. And uh, you should be able to elaborate uh, all of these values and how they tend to affect your life, improve your life, and make you move forward in a better way. So, you are going to write down 10 of them. Uh, then you are going to prioritize the top five values and elaborate more on your first value that why is it the most important value that you have. Uh, do you believe in following certain principles uh, in life? Uh, you must elaborate on a few of them. Uh, so, uh, let's say that if I uh, live upon a principle, Uh, that uh, I will basically uh, wage a war against corruption uh, in any institution or in any community. Well, that is one principle uh, of my life. So, uh, you can also have different principles according to which you are going to be spending your life. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we see is there's a very interesting exercise. You're going to talk about your vision. You're going to talk about your different values. You're going to prioritize five of them. You're going to hone on to one of them. You're going to further elaborate and explain them with lots of examples. And then you are also going to talk about the different principles in your life. which basically define you, which define your character, which define your attitude, which define uh, your interface with community at large. And they are very important. And once you start getting to know each other, and this is the beginning of a journey. It's just like a, a journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. So this is just the first step of introspection. Try to get to know yourself in a better way. And then later on, you can Google different models. You can, you can see that there's something which is called the Myers-Briggs type indicator model, something which is called the Ned Herman model. There's some, something which is called the Goldberg model. There's something which is called the Eric Erickson model. There's something which is called the force feed analysis. There are different, uh, different tools which can be used to understand oneself in a better way. There's the leadership grid, if you want to take that. So, these are some wonderful uh, models which make you understand yourself in a better way, more scientifically, more uh, behaviorally. So, with this, uh, you will be able to uh, make better ethical decisions. Thank you so much.